Welcome back to Twitter Titty Twisters. It's me, yours truly, the Roger Ebert of boobies, Dalton Pruitt. I wanted to touch on something today I don't think I have talked about before. Movie boobs. And I've selected an all-time pair of movie boobs right here. Jamie Lee Curtis, as featured in the 1983 comedy film Trading Places, starring Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, and the wonderful Miss Curtis right here. There is a mystical, ethereal quality to movie boobs, uh, because the tits of starlets are curated, Beloved actresses are protective of their image, uh, rightfully so. There's a whole team of people, not just the actress. There's the actress, the agent, managers, PR. There's a whole team of people working to make sure that this person's image is curated and regulated and protected in, in the public eye, that the that the absolute best version is always showing to the public. Uh, very protective, especially when it comes to they jugs. So it's always a special moment when an actress shows them off, when she lets them things hang. Uh, and this sort of goes along with the philosophy of something I talk about often, meat and mystique, okay? Showing us... Uh, either some of the meat or a lot of the meat, but having restraint, regulation, holding back, leave them wanting more. The first rule of show business, uh, you know, because we are, we are inundated with titties these days. I mean, swing a dead cat and you'll land on a pair of honkers. But the value of boobies is determined uh, by the market, by re like regulation within the market. And as more and more titties flood the market, their value can plummet. And it is uh, scarcity that can make a pair of hooters more desirable, like diamonds, okay? Diamonds are not necessarily rare, much like uh, boobies... They can even be made in a lab, mass-produced. But what gives a diamond a, its value is in how it's uh, presented as a precious premium jewel. The market regulates it. While there are many diamonds out there, uh, they exist only within, uh, you know, certain, uh, high, you know, stores and the, you know, the access to them is limited. Uh, it's, it's sort of like in the movie uncut gems when the movie gives the rundown on New York's diamond district, where at the street level, there's just those African guys handing out pamphlets, just trying to sell whatever diamonds they got. And those would be like your, your TikTok thoughts, e girls, pornographers in terms of boobies, those are just the boobies you can see whenever. All the meat flat, flip flapping around on the internet is just African guys handing out pamphlets. And then as you go further and further up in those buildings, you, you get to more and more um, elite stores. You know, Howard's store in, in the movie, Adam Sandler's character, you know, is, is sort of a, the... Um, the E girl who is who is still modest but sultry, you know, the girl who shows off meat and, and will post thirst traps, but rarely ever, uh, if if ever, shows off the full uh, the full titties. You know what I mean? Uh, so the actual full meat is always inaccessible to many of us, and there's only a select few who have gained access to seeing the the full jugs. And then once you get to the upper levels, the pent, the top floor is the penthouse, therein resides uh, the movie boobs. Just the, the transcendent, uh, truly special uh, knockers that are just totally inaccessible to most people. It's only the truly wealthy elite, uh, the, the famed um, stars uh, can, can gain access to those. And for us... 
we might look upon them in certain instances when when they are shown to us, uh, you know, in media. But the forever will will we not, you know, we'll never know exactly what's going on with them things. They'll always be uh, totally curated by the proprietor, and that's what we have here with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis in, in this film is, is one of the rare showings of uh, a couple of 14 karat jugs. Uh, and, and the presentation in this picture I've chosen, I love it because it's all mystique. You know, it's a, it's a flashy dress, still seductive to signal that her character in the film is a prostitute, but the dress itself covers all of the meat. You know what I mean? And, and, and though there are still a couple of diamonds cutting through the glass there, you know, we, we are only left to imagine what lies within, what is under the concealment. And, and, you know, we don't have to imagine too much if you've seen the movie. That's the beautiful thing about these boobs is you do see them later in the movie and they are glorious. Regal, I would say, because she is royalty. She comes from Hollywood royalty, the, the daughter of Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. The, these are high class, uh, elite, 1% titties right here. Uh, but as we see them in this picture, them things is hanging, no bra, just dropped into this dress. And we, we can see that these are ample handfuls, uh, just truly at, at their prime, just perky and, and ready to, you know, ready to, to wow us on the silver screen. And, and, you know, as far as cinematic jugs go, these are some of my favorites of all time. And, and there is this transcendent quality to, uh, you know, an actress's, uh, a big movie star's jugs because, you know, we, we hardly ever get to see them. You know, they're, they're, they're so limited and uh, they're not made to be um, viewed upon in, in any sort of pornographic way ever or to, to necessarily make us aroused except when you know if it's if it calls for it in the script but even then it, it's a performance it's a dance you know a, a, a titty tango as it were between uh titties and audience and and it's you know i i just think there, there's a magic to movie boobs the the movie magic the the spectacle of hollywood uh in milkers uh, and and uh, I, I tell you, if you haven't seen this movie, if you haven't seen Jamie Lee Curtis's titties in Trading Places, please go check them out because they are, it's truly an all-time rack. 10 out of 10 wood motorboat.